Like YouTube is Jake with the car road and back another epic Minecraft YouTube video. Today we're here doing a Kahoot on the OCIC thingy majiggy happening in Australia in like two weeks. Um it's Sword and Shield standard format. We have a few of the boys here. I'm gonna introduce them one by one and they can tell us a little bit about themselves and their accomplishments this season. Um we're gonna start here at the top with Ben. Guard of War. Dude, uh, that was funny! <laughs> I get it. He said Gardevoir. Um, so anyway, Ben, uh, tell us a little bit about your season thus far. Championship points. Um, any I got 270 activities? championship points. So that's good. Most of okay. them are with Zoroar. Any big finishes? Uh, I won a cup. Any bigger finishes that Charles doesn't have, like, perhaps? I got top 64 at a regional. That was funny, Jacob. Nice. <laughs> <I> guess, <laughs> and, uh, and now we're going to move on to uh, Charles. Uh, what's up? I'm Charles. I am sitting at, I think, 248 CP, and they're all from Cups and Challenge It. <laughs> That's yeah. all you need to know. Uh, any, any shout out? Or, oh, I'll give that at the end. Uh, uh, Jackson. Um, my name is Jackson. Um, unlike Charles, I have a regional finish, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, championship points. Uh, we're not going to talk about it. Nice. Nice. Um, so like I said, this is going to be the first Sword and Shield standard format event, uh, major event happening. It's on like the 22nd, I think. It's pretty big. A lot of good players are going to go, and it's just a few of the questions about decks and stuff. So we're going to start off here. All of you guys have it screen shared and open? Yes. Yep. Right, yeah. Sounds good. Yes, sir. Question number one. Which Zacian variant is the Oh, best? God. Okay. Uh, control. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't uh, think of any answers, Jacob. Oh, my <laughs> God. was <laughs> 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 I wrong? Alright, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have each you of you guys... You couldn't think of Berserker was a way to play it, Jacob. You could have put that. It's, it's other. I had to put the three important ones first, you know what I'm saying? So uh, like, of course. Uh, anyway, yeah. who, uh, we're going to go over each of you answers and have you talk about it. So who chose Control? I chose Control. Right, what's your list looking like, bro? Oh, exactly like Mr. Stillwell's. But, no, it's Zacian Control. Oh, oh my God. Isn't... <laughs> not, wait, what? <laughs> there's a Zacian Control? No, that's... There's not no, a Zacian Control. Right, it, Although there is a Zacian Min Control. It's basically Chinchino. But it plays one Zacian, no, so you can no, dig no, through your deck no, faster. What? No, Zacian is like a Zacian deck. Like, my deck is a Chinchino deck. So I asked which Zacian deck is going to be the best one. <laughs> and I said Control. Yes. Because Control's the best deck. Yeah, we know. Okay, on to the okay. actual answer. So, uh, who, who chose Luke Metal? I chose Luke Metal. Okay, tell us a little bit about your decision. Um, so basically, I went on to this website called LimitlessTCG.com and mm -hmm. saw what did well in Japan. Yeah. That was pretty much it. Also, I just feel like you don't need to hit 260 when you're already hitting. Like, if you're not ever going to get the, if you don't get the water energy, like, you just want to hit for 60. I just feel like reducing the damage is just better. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And then, uh, why ADP? Uh, it just helps you one-shot tag team. You know, yeah. and you can be very aggressive with your deck. Like, I, I don't think my answer to that. Like, I don't yeah, even think you need an EDP every time. You just need to use it sometimes, you know. Yeah, you don't even sense. need the water energy. So yeah. against tag teams, you're winning in two knockouts anyway. So you don't need the water energy. Yeah, and a lot of our testing, Ben kind of just, like, attacks with one metal energy with the ADP, and it seems to get the job done. Just because, you, you know, you want to think as early job as done. Um, so yeah, that is and when you do need the water, you have Viridian, so... Gotcha, yeah, and if you go first, you basically always get the, um, extra prize effect, too, but going second, you just kind of want to use your GX turn one. Yeah, although right. I do want to point out, in con you could play a quadization control deck and just play, Why like, a bunch that? of control cards, because you can. <laughs> yeah, Charles. Why wouldn't you want to do it? Station's broken. Play oh, it with everything. Before, before we move on, um, is there any... Like decks that you think would fall under the other category as far as variants that we should talk uh, about? Berserker. Uh, 
with that thing. But I just feel like since it's a stage one, it's just worse. Wait, what it that just do? seems so much worse than ADP. I don't know what that does. It's off. a stage one. It, says, it, it just adds 20 it's damage like to attacks. Thing. Oh, that thing. Yeah, I know that. Sounds good. Yeah. So we're going to move on to question number two. We see Charles in the lead. Unfortunately, Let's go! He, unfortunately, he doesn't have this lead when it comes to championship points. So no, it's all good. Uh, moving on to question number two. We're going to talk about Picaron here. There we go. Uh, what is their variance? Now you're talking. Wait, what's the what? What's the question? Picaron. <laughs> Picaron. Uh, um, variance. I guess... Yeah, I don't know. I don't agree with, with any of these, so I'm just gonna choose the one that I like. <laughs> and, uh, who chose square? <laughs> who chose Me? scoops? <laughs> okay. uh, who chose no scoops. scoops. Yeah, uh, Jackson, you why scoops? Because um, it's so the childish way. Um, uh, Charles, it's not your turn, it's Jackson's turn. But Jackson is a child. Shut up! This video sucks. <laughs> this video is legendary. <laughs> People are gonna learn so much. <laughs> Jackson, this video why? will win OTIC. <laughs> Jackson, why the scoops variant? Because unlike Jake Mullins and Zachary Zabelski from the World Squad, they should know that scoops is the way to go. Uh -huh. It is not the childish way. <laughs> it's the best way. Facts. Alright, um, also, why did nobody choose Green's Picaron? Uh, I mean, even though it is the best deck in the format, I feel like everyone's gonna counter it, so it's yeah. not very safe. Uh, Doesn't seem like a good meta call. Gotcha. Okay, so who chose the tag calls? I did even- I don't agree with any of these. I think the best way to play Picaron is without not Radar boy. and without Zero Aura. And why you just play you because oh. you just want quick balls. You don't want radars. Radars don't get Coco Prism or B. Quick ball does though. Yeah, that's why you just play quick you ball. Play... You don't play yeah, quick ball. Well, I, I, I meant like I meant like radar. Uh, quick balls were kind of a given in all of these. To be yeah, fair. it's a, you play a split. You play like a three-two split or something like that. Well, you definitely do not play less than four quick balls. Yes. Well, if you play two, whatever. You four two. We'll call it four-two. Um, but I just kind of meant overall, like, the, you know, the ability... Although, I do, I do like tag calls, just because with, like, um, Goose Mahala, you get, like, everything that you need with that card, mm -hmm. in order for the consistent turn two attack. No, you Although don't. I think that... You get, I, quick interjection, no, you don't, because you get the Thunder mean? Mountain, and then what special energy are you grabbing, and you what... Get a, you play you a unit energy energy that comes with the lightning. Oh, I totally forgot that card existed. Man, right, Charles, you're so dumb. Yeah. Okay. Carry Charles, on. never interject ever again. He will always yeah. be wrong. <laughs> False. So, does anybody have any other words to say on Picaron before we move on? To yeah, the next uh, just going, just uncontrolled aggression is always best for uh, Picaron. Getting uh, turn one I, full blitz is so stupid broken. Yeah. Also, I want to say it's a very good donk deck. You can just choose to go second, hope your opponent doesn't bench anything, and then donk your opponent. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like Zashian too, although it might be better at donking than Zashian. Tag calls are fine, radars are better, scoops and greens, why are, why? Why are they on here? More importantly, why did you guys choose the two wrong answers? Exactly. <laughs> Alright, next question. We see Jackson still in the lead. Jackson's, oh yeah! Jackson's closing the gap and Ben here, uh, zero. Slacking! <laughs> looks like I'm a bad slacking. <laughs> yeah. All right, question number three. We're gonna talk about Frost Moth here. Uh, okay. Just what what, what tier Zero. would you place Frost Moth in? Okay. It has a lot I of guess. potential as a card. Wait, it depends. Which like form of it, Keldeo or the Labyrinth? We'll get to that later. It's just the deck in general, the card, the water toolbox. So I actually personally agree with tier two. That's kind of see where it plays. First, we'll talk about tier three. Who put it tier three? I put it at tier three. Right. Unless I'm forgetting something, how are you searching the energies? You have Viridian, you and then what else? You draw, you, and then, that like doesn't seem very... Turbo deck. Yeah. You, just, you play like 13 but you of them. Did any, so you what? did any before you... you yeah, and, you, did and, any and you have one. Sycamore now. And you have Sycamore now? But, uh, and then you I don't know. Also, energy like, retrievals. You can discard them very aggressively and then play... I haven't played a single game the with back. the deck, so I don't know how it was. Yeah, Colin, you're all automatically wrong. Oh my god, shut the hell up. 
All right. Whoa, so... whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> G, PG. Bro, now I have to edit that out. And I'm that is PG. To... All right. Man, Charles, I, don't know. I haven't played a single game, but just reading the card, it sounds meh. And I guess Keldeo is a fine attacker, but there are a lot, a lot of ways around Keldeo now. You know we're playing Keldeo V. Right? What? No, it's Keldeo, Keldeo V. Keldeo V? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I know you don't know what that card is. Let me do a quick Google. <laughs> Keldeo V does like oh. 280 damage. Why would you watch um, Celio's Networks video when you can watch this one? When we know what all of the cards do. It's a secret sword. Uh. You can play that or you can play Lapras V Max. Lapras V is just worse. Lapras V Max. Three hundred HP. <laughs> oh, Lapras V Max. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, so play that one. Yeah. Do you, does that change your tier at all, or still tier? Two? Uh. Um, I would put it. Yeah, I guess tier tier three. I'll I'll leave it at tier three. Right, and then um, Jackson, explain your reasoning for tier two. I feel like it's kind of like Archie's choice and expanded, mostly because energy acceleration. It's kind of like a high roll deck. You could either draw hot or just draw energy. <laughs> and then Ben? I think it's tier 2 right now, but I think it has potential to be tier 1 and maybe even the BDIF. Just because, like, energy acceleration, like, the Rain Dance energy acceleration is just so powerful. And with the attackers like Lapras and Keldeo, you can hit theoretically infinite damage. So, it has yeah. a lot of potential. And I think straight off the bat, it's already going to be good. Yeah. Like, when I was against Charlie, like, he was playing Keldeo. And he was able to just get one shots every turn. Like, I thought the deck was going to be a lot more inconsistent. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think it has potential, but it doesn't jump out at me as something that yeah. seems super uh, meta-breaking. I think it's a good deck. I think it's, like, Malamar level. Like it's a I good don't doubt deck. it's a good deck. Yeah. Malamar was much more consistent, though. Malamar was not more consistent. Yeah, Malamar. I, I would have to beg to defer. I don't think you can ever call Malamar. You only had to get you only had to get the energy in the discard pile. With this, you have to get X amount of energy yeah, in your hand. With this one, you only on need turn to get two. One it's not just turn one; it's turn Charles, two. Listen, you only no, need to get me, one frost down. To get the Why do you only need to get one frost moth down? Because it accelerates as many energies. Yeah, instead of needing three Malamars, you just get one. It attaches as many as- it's Deluge, Charles. It's Deluge? Yes. I thought yeah. it was one per turn. Oh, that changes it. Oh my it. god, I can't tier believe one, that one. you don't even know what You're this card so is. I don't know what anything does. I already told you this. Tier no, here, 1, there Charles, we go. Charles, it's Deluge, but it's a benched water Pokemon. Oh, still tier 1. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> I still say tier 2. <laughs> I still That's think it's tier 2 and has potential to be tier 1. Yeah, so it's Deluge to your benched water Pokemon. Okay. Uh, any other things on Frostmoth? Charles, do you Not need to good. know any of the other words on any of the cards? Uh, do you need to read Prominence? <laughs> do not need to read Prominence. Gotcha. So we're going to move on to the next question. Oh, Charles still in the lead. Ben finally gets a few points. Uh, question number three. Is Malamar a dead deck? I'm talking about straight Malamar. Wait, you said it's three oh, tags? Yeah, no, just like regular, like the current Malamar. Um. Alright, pretty Oh, split. wow. Okay, so we're gonna talk about uh, whoever said no. I said no. What came, what comes out that really, that's a, like, what comes out that's really bad for Malamar? I can't think of it. use the supporter in turn one. That doesn't I mean, you run four bad, Jirachis bad for, Malamar, Yeah, exactly. Though. You run four Jirachis. If you start a Jirachi, I guess it's bad. You could play, like, one Dedenne like Ben was doing before you World. I was running two Dedennes. Two Dedenne? You could probably play a Dedenne engine. That but doesn't seem Dedenne, bad. Then that defeats the purpose but then of you have Malamars. Oh, it That's doesn't? That's not pure Malamar. Jacob said pure Malamar. That's not pure Malamar? If it runs one pure. Dedenne? Yes. That's dumb. I feel like the pure Malamar literally only runs a 4-4 four, four Malamar. It's actually runs a 0-4 Malamar and no other Pokemon. Like, what I'm gonna like, say no. Malamar. The turn, if the you rules run Jirachi, are you're not running pure Malamar. Wait, that... So we started at no with Charles' answer. Now we're gonna talk about whoever said yes. Wait, I don't know if that was me or not. Oh, my it was oh wait, I said <laughs> Alright, so Jackson, you said Malamar is a dead deck? 
Yeah. Explain your it's reasoning. It's just... I don't know why you would ever play it just as how it's played now, when you could just play the Malamar Mew 3 version, which is just handlock, which is so much better. Got you. Anything else? It's like playing Picarom with no scoop <laughs> when you could play it with scoop. <laughs> Heard. And then, uh, Ben, you said it depends on the GXs you run. Is there a certain GX you think you can run that, like, actually makes the deck good? I... I've, I've just seen all the Mewtwo lists, and it seems like in Japan, like a lot of people have been like, oh, so, pushing more. Yeah, so GX. I I know that I have, we have a question on that later in here, but as far as the GX, I meant kind of like you know right now we run a Tina Chomp or you run an SP Oxus or a Guznaga. Or I mean, like I that. think the Tina Chomp is good. I think I always like that. Gotcha. Um, I also think running to Denny's is good, but no one else ever agrees. <laughs> and custom catchers. <laughs> okay, any other words? I mean, when Malamar? Fighting Dojo. Was... Okay, Fighting Dojo wasn't good. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> Fighting Dojo was broken. Remember when I was memeing about playing it in Greenzard and then like Rahula them actually it, playing it was in Greenzard? Not, no, with Fighting Dojo though. I destroyed Smetna at a challenge with Fighting Dojo. Wow. I, I remember that. It was so beautiful. Are we done with Malamar? I destroyed yes. yes. I'm movement. forever done with Malamar. Got you. All right. Next question. We see. Oh, Jackson has an answer streak of three. Okay. Right. Pidgey control or Shinshino? Oh, this control? isn't even a question. I've had some okay. very mixed things. Okay. Who said Pidgey? I believe Jackson said it? Pidgey. Okay. Explain. Um. I just said Pidgey because Jacob is way too confident in his Chinchino control list. And Pidgey, you don't have to discard any resources. It's just so and That much doesn't better. matter. It's called resource management. It's you get them all back. In late game. It's infinitely better late game than uh, oh. Chinchino is in standard. No, it's not. How? Yes, it is. You have to discard cards with Chinchino. That doesn't matter. You don't need to... How if does that matter? Down... Because if you're You literally down play like card, four cards. Oh my god. What? If you're playing down every card you get back, then you're losing a card to return to trade. No, you're not, no, because... So, to be... So in the testing I've done, every... Like, once every two or three turns, all you have to do is take one turn to resource management back your fishing rod, and then you get four cards worth of trade fodder to get rid of. Yeah, you have Balloon, and then you also... Even if you didn't have Balloon, you would just go resource what does that back... Even mean? Balloon doesn't have anything to do with anything. Sorry, not Balloon. The rod. Yeah. The, the rod thing. Even if you didn't have Rod, you would just go, you would just get back a okay. useless card and then, or Palpad, yeah, or Bryson Belbella and then Chip Chip. And you would just trade away the useless card, Belbella, Chip Chip, every turn. Yeah, like what I've been doing is I'll just go one turn and I'll resource manage pick it like Fishing Rod, Palpad, and then I have like six cards I just fill my deck with, and then I can play slow for a few turns, fill my deck up with a bunch of resources, and then I can just trade away the stuff I Fishing Rod for and then get the Fishing but Rod. But you back. don't yeah. need to do that with Pidgey. But you just are so much faster. It doesn't matter. It's so much it's faster. Exactly. One... It's two cards versus one. It's such a simple decision. Can you Elm for Chinchino? Oh, no, I mean, you can't you play can Elm turn one anymore, yeah. like going first. So I'll it's like, Elm is a lot more powerful. That's another thing, because if you are going second, like, it's just, if you're going first, you really, one Chinchino can set your board up so much faster than one Pidgeotto can. And one Chinchino leads into, like, outs to get so much more... So many more Minchinos out and stuff like that. So it's just it's a faster deck and more consistent in my opinion. Uh, Charles, tell us why you. Oh, you already kind of talked. Right, ben, I already. I basically Chinchino. already said everything. I mean, I just agree with everything that you said. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. So that's the. Chinchino is tier one, also. Yeah, Chinchino is broken. I don't know if it's actually tier one. Because it's, I don't it know. Seems, it seems control seems bad. very good right now. Just thinking about the decks that are gonna be good, control seems like a pretty good choice. The thing is that I don't think it can beat Zashian. At least not How? consistently. Jacob said he beat you seven we... two. I think it it, it has an what extra good matchup against... talking about. No, we played I played against Ben and I played against Zachary Zavilski, but Zachary Zavilski played the ADP variant, which is by far the better matchup. ADP is a little bit rougher, especially if they have a turn where they can get the um, wait, uh, you, wait, I think you meant Melmetal, not ADP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. I'm getting everything mixed up. 
You play the ADP and Zach plays the metal metal. And the metal metal is the good matchup. Um, ADP is rough, but a lot of times you can stop them from GXing for the extra prize. Especially Ben's variant that plays like the smaller accounts of water energies, but it really depends on how many waters that everybody's going to be playing. Also, I just want to say that like Sashin's ability just kind of naturally counters control because you draw cards and accelerate energies. So it's yeah, like, I mean, I yeah, obviously get that. Even if you cold crush me, yeah, it ends my turn, but control is a pretty No, but slow then they just go Jesse anyway. James Mars. It doesn't matter. You don't even need to. Yeah, it, or, or you just stamp them again. <laughs> like, I mean, I still have like... Karachis and the Oranguru, so. Well, well you're going to be locked at that point. I mean, that hasn't really happened in our games. Like, the games usually end before yeah, that happens. Yeah, we'll play some more. Okay, next question. Yeah. yeah, it needs more testing. That's a conclusion. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, next question. Is Mewtwo Handlock an actual deck? Who said Who no? Who said no? I and, did. Of course, Ben. <clears throat> Alright, Ben, uh, explain. I mean, I, d I don't think it's an actual deck in the sense that I don't think it's actually going to ever be able to effectively hand lock. Because. That's just false. Oh, I don't think that's ever going to happen with the deck. Like, right now. And why? I think it's like the deck exists, but it's not Mewtwo handlock. It's more like Mewtwo GX. Well, no, because the strategy is you Marnie them to four, and then you use uh, the Charm that Dust Nord shuffle two back in. Yeah, I get that much, but then you have things like Jirachi and Oranguru, so it like doesn't really matter. It's that just much. a better version of the the Trevnoir, like um Buzzmosa so, handlock yeah, thing we have now, and that's been doing well at locals. So I don't see why this would be any different. Yeah, but I also it's don't think that's actually a real deck. Plus, death. it just got second without all the new cards from Sword and Shield at a regional. Yeah. It's a deck. Okay, I mean, sure, whatever you guys say. Ben, okay. basically, you, you're turn one, even with the support of a wolf. If you go second, then you just go Gengar Omastar GX. You get an extra turn. Then you Trevnor, Marnie, they get three cards, and they played one turn out. Like, you just, it just seems so strong. I think it's tier one. Okay. Charles, where would you place that deck? Um, I would say tier two, or... Yeah, like tier 2.25, I guess. Same place that the Buzzmosa thing was. Gotcha. And then, Ben, you think it's a bad deck? Like, I don't think... That is the incorrect the opinion. actually exists, like, how people think it exists. Sounds... Good. I'm just gonna move on. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Now, oh, Jackson's in the lead. Whoa! By one, by one point! Are you kidding Let's me? Let's go, popping off. Okay. Next question. What will be the most played deck in the room? This should be a pretty easy question, but we'll see. Really? There's no other answer. What do you mean? There's other? It's probably going to be Zacian, but Zacians are expensive. That's the only reason I picked Picarum. But because it's an OCIC, so like, considering the level yeah. of events it is, people are going to have the. That's fair. Too. I guess I switched well, to Last year's OCIC, Picarum was everywhere. Yeah, Picarum was expensive. That's true. That no, was like the most. These are like forty dollars, thirty dollars right now, right? They're a little less than thirty. Yeah. They're like, okay. yeah. Uh, I'll switch to Zacian. I I do also believe Zacian is going to be the most played deck in the room, but like Picarom has, it always seems to be a very popular deck amongst people, and it just seems like the deck like a kind of surprise everybody to be the most played deck, sort of like it was at Knoxville wasn't like one of the most. It was like that or Mewtwo. Um, I don't know, I could definitely see Picarom being at least probably number two, but Zacian is pretty easily number one, especially if you combine the two variants of it. Uh, so that's a pretty easy question. Next one is going to be, what is the most overrated deck going into Oh, wow. Uh... If you say other, explain which other deck you're talking about. Okay, I guess I'll do that. I don't even know. Alright, you all said other, so none of no Mewtwo, no Zation, no control. So Charles, start with you. I this, passed, like I I don't really know what would be an I'll over take this right one. Now. Yeah, take it, Jackson, sure. Picarom, I just 
don't think it will be very good. I get it. It gets quick ball and everything, but if you don't win in the first few turns, if the game carries out for a while, you're just in a worse spot than every other deck. <laughs> oh, Finn. I mean, I guess I'll just say the hand lock thing. Like That's what I had in my Mewtwo. <laughs> like, I think... Well, Mewtwo can mean so many things, so I just decided to go with other. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, you already gave your opinion on Mewtwo, and then Charles doesn't have an answer to the question. And that's easy. That's yeah, like no it. one's talked about Weld Dex. Like, oh, that Zigzagoon thing. So that thing is awful. <laughs> uh, that's what I put. That's what I put. <laughs> Galarian Zigzagoon. That thing sucks. Uh, well, that one. Whatever it is. What is the new... Uh, yeah, with the new supporter, is it better to go first or second? Okay, well, this one. Depends. Like, Who said first? Oh, well, it's I pretty important first. to know why it depends. Yeah, yeah, so Jackson just says first in general. Uh, yeah. Is there a reason why any explaining you have? Um, I guess I should have picked depends, but I feel like for most decks, going first is just going to be stronger than going second. Mm-hmm. Because the Dene and everything, you just get in that extra energy attachment. It just matters more than just attacking first. Uh, Charles? Okay, so I think that it depends on the deck, but more like leaning towards first, because most decks will adapt to a more turn one based engine with balls instead of playing like Lily, a uh, Lily engine to draw a bunch of cards turn one. Yeah. So in that sense, going first would be better. But there will still be some decks that really benefit from playing a supporter turn one. So in that case, if you uh, going second might be an option, but you really have to decide based on the matchup you're against whether it'd be okay. better to deny them from going first. Mm -hmm. And Ben? So I've thought about this quite a bit, actually. And I used to just think that going first was, like, no matter what, always the best option. But now I think... Like, for decks like Zashian and Picaram, I think you almost always want to choose to go second. Because really? You can all, most of the time you can attack turn one. And also, because of the supporter rule, sometimes, like, if you go first, you can have only a supporter in your hand. It's your only draw, and you just kind of have to pass. Hmm. And in those scenarios, decks like Picaram and Zashian that can attack going first want to go second because then they can capitalize on that and just get a dong. So even if they go against a bad matchup, they could just win because they just donk. And they went second. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I actually think a donking lot of becomes really actually relevant. should prefer to go second. And donking is really something to consider in this new format. Hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely am a fan of the way that this decision has been. Like, now you have to really think about it compared to before when you just always went first. Yeah, I, appreciate I overall think this is a good change for the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting thing. I like right. it. Next question. Charles is back in the lead. Let's go. We're going to have, is Magnolia a 4 of? Also, I, you know, the deck is dependent. Um, but is in general, is like your four supporters. Yes. Okay. You all yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's... Do we really, really need to explain this? Yeah, do we really the best need supporter. To explain yeah, that. no. It's so it, stupid. No like, explanation is really necessary for that. Juniper and Sycamore were four ofs when it was played, and that was like exactly. even when VS Seeker was leaving. Mm -hmm. of, like, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's, I'm so happy they reprinted this card. It's okay. I know. Yeah, it's really good. It's oh. healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Question number eleven: Which deck is winning the entire oh, event? God. This can definitely differ hmm. from the most played deck in the room. Um, it can be a surprise deck. Alright. Oh, Control. Now, who said Control? I did. Alright, uh, Jackson, you go first. Um, I just feel like a good player playing the Control with the new Zacian, like, when Zora Control, like, even before Surge, Reset Stamp, Mars came out, Control won in Internats with Zoroark. I feel like the same thing's just going to happen with Jinjino. Mm -hmm. Charles? Yeah, I think it's what uh, Dead Draw Gaming is going to try to But Dead Draw Gaming yeah, is in a team. Oh, that... Uh, the that... same people, the same okay. people. I yeah, it won in Internet that. by default, remember that? <laughs> okay, oh, I forgot about that one. Guy. 
Alolan. All right, uh, Ben. Yes. I knew uh, what your answer was going to be, but explain it anyway. I mean, I think Station is just the best deck. I think it's just so powerful. Intrepid Sword is broken. It's it, it's insane. It's just a ridiculous deck. Although I wouldn't really be surprised to see something else win. Because it's a meta defining ability. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it, yeah, it's a, it's a strong card. I think, you know, if I went to OCIC, I'd definitely win with Sashian. <laughs> okay, okay, you buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Which is a better attacker in Frostmoth? We briefly talked about this like earlier. Uh, here's the two options. Okay. Wow. It's probably Charles who said Lapras. I don't understand why you guys are hyping Tilly would be up so much. Well, That's Lapras gives up three prizes. And it's I mean, I've one. thought about this for quite a bit, too. Yes. So, so uh, Charles, explain... Lapras V just seems better in a tag team format, because you want to be able to hit that number. And just the, the 90 plus versus the uh, 50 plus seems relevant. But I definitely could be wrong on this one. Yeah, so you, you could... Mean... I'm. My mind is definitely open to be changing on this one. Alright, uh, Ben? So, the reason that Keldeo, like, is more preferable is just because it's a basic. So, you have more turns to attach to it, and you can attack with it quicker. Like, and it gives up and it less, takes less spots in your deck. Uh, like, it also takes less spots in your deck, so you can play more cards. I, play uh, more cards. that makes sense. Like, and although Lapras also... I don't know. It, it's kind of close, and I haven't really tested. What about playing a split? Mm, I don't think no. that's really yeah. good. It feels just kind of way too clunky. Like you're uh -huh. gonna draw into Lapras's when you don't even. I mean, have the a deck Lapras already card. feels clunky playing so many energy. No, it, we played the abilities already. I don't. Yes. <laughs> think playing more <laughs> energy makes the deck more clunky. Like yeah, abilities are with played a bunch of energies. I Did I ever really say that deck are... wasn't clunky? I, I don't know if it was the most plucky thing I've ever seen, though. Abilities are broken. <laughs> all right, Jackson. It was plucky with all the fire crystals. Um, I just feel Kelly is better because, yeah, less spaces in your deck. It's a basic. It's faster. You could run other things like I think Magikarp Wailord has a lot of potential in the deck. Yeah, it's so crazy that you can run these and then you still can just play like one GX and you always have that one to use the GX attack for since the Vs don't have those. It's kind of crazy. And then you can also play scoop ups. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Ooh. Always play scoop up. Very right. smart. Next question. Let's see here. Will Marty be a staple draw supporter? Now I oh, have an unpopular opinion about this card. But... Uh, I have. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate that was my unpopular opinion. Now I want to hear each of you all's reasoning for this. So I'll start. Marty with... is awful. No, <laughs> yeah, don't play ben, ever. We already have reset stamps. You should play yeah, like, one at OCIC because there is a chance that you'll be able to cheese games off people who yeah. think it's just your <laughs> hand <laughs> and still. Games and you can't play it until turn two. Yeah. Where, like, until your opponent's already had a turn. Yeah, Like, exactly. even if they didn't play the support. <laughs> that was more of a joke answer, but, like, still. Yeah, yeah I it's think like, the card's just not good. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I feel it's like it's good. good. Is what? it a staple? Of course it's not a staple. Judge wasn't a staple. I don't- Judge was like, not even really that good though. I- yeah. <laughs> I played Judge yeah. in the World Rock and that was it. Yeah, whenever I think of Judge, I think Judge? of Pikaram when I hated Pikaram. Also, and... that's- that was a Marnie, terrible deck. Marnie is awful. Pika Judge also... was terrible. Marnie is actually worse than Judge. Unpopular opinion. Marnie is worse than Judge. Because, because this judge, you can play going first. If your opponent plays a Ranguru with Primate Wisdom, they can just put a supporter card on top of their deck. And then when you Marnie them, they just draw into that supporter. What if they're not smart? Well, then you're going to win anyway. <laughs> I totally forgot about that Ranguru card. Yeah, that's Aranguru's a thing. Ranguru's so good. <laughs> yeah, Ranguru's broken. It's like the best card in the set. Right, next question. Uh, is Absol worth a spot with Jirachi getting even better than it already was before? Oh, no. No, I meant to say... Actually, yes. Still yes. Still yes. I mean, it is worth playing. Yeah, I think Jir Jirachi Absol's is so good. Yeah, Absol's nice right now. Yeah, it seems like 
whenever you know there's so many new archetypes right now or just changes to current archetypes where you'll take a deck that was doing good pre new set and then you start to make changes and just add in all those peoples and there's so many of them it seems like the first or at least for me personally like when i'm starting to think about the cards i want to cut for new supporters and stuff one of like the four switches or whatever would always be in my like contention and I'm just lowering the switch counts in my decks in general, even the ones that play Jirachi. So being able to capitalize on sticking a Jirachi in the active seems really good. Agreed. Any, any uh, other comments on that? No, not your count. Absol was super nice before this set. Mm -hmm. also. And, and you play in Shinshino Control, by the way. So just... <laughs> yeah. Next question. Question number 15 is not Burger King uh, Foot Lettuce this time. That's what if I snore Max. Why not? Not at all. Broken card, by the way. <laughs> Somebody yeah. play faster. I guess that. There we go. Triple accelerations. Who said Who that? Who voted for that? Ben. <laughs> I didn't. Right. TCEs? I voted for that. Why? What? It's like one attachment versus find, having to find the welder. I guess that's not even. I don't know. I, I don't really care about this one, honestly. My abilities are to list plays a 2 Yeah, I was about to say, Jacob's broken. like version of abilities are just seems like. You mean my abilities are? They no, I, no, I changed your list like 20 times. We've words. got beef. <laughs> okay. Like ben had the worst list ever for this card, and I just made it good. I mean, I decided. For my first draft list to play triple acceleration and welder, but I think if you were gonna choose one, then you have to go with welder. Okay, I'm sure everyone, everyone in this artist. call knows what Snormax does, but maybe for the viewers, we could, you know, have Jacob read what Snormax does. Okay, so it has it like 300,000 HP, right? And it does it like 60 and then 30 for each of your bench Pokemon. For three Got energy. it, thanks. Thanks, Jackson. I'm glad the viewers now know what Snormax does. <laughs> so you just Welder onto it, right? And then you hit for like 210. And then they slap you for like 40 damage. And then you switch into- Scoop up! Tur oh, yeah, or, no, 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 you don't do that. Because you want to keep the energies in play. And then you go and you steaming stop something. And then you take three prizes. And then you bring something else up. And the Snorlax is just still there chilling on the bench with your three energies. And you hit something for 210, so Steaming Stomp cleans up the first tag team. You bench the Turtonator, play your other switch, because you play four of the deck, because it's a broken deck. Then you Turtonator for six energies, because you're never going to be able to kill a Snorlax in one hit and then you win the game. Any objections? Where's Tropical Beach? I didn't think so. Next question. Uh, let's see here. Question number 16. Whatever, however you pronounce this thing. Stone Jorner. Yes. Uh. Alright, who said rogue? I did. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's definitely rogue no matter Charles what. Charles doesn't know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Correct! <laughs> All right, so Maybe for... you could explain to the viewers what Stone Jordan does. <laughs> so it has like 320 HP, and for one. 330. 330, yeah, and for one fighting energy. You attach a fighting energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, and then you heal 120 from it. Okay, that's stupid. Yeah, I changed my answer to good. <laughs> yeah, and then you play, and there's another card that you like, it's basically the Shaman, and it like heals 20 damage, right, you said? Why would they think that's a good idea? Wait, which card heals the damage? It's in DDV. Although, I don't know if you want to play in DDV. I think you do. Wait, tell me exactly opponent... what the card does. It just heals 20 from your action. Is it a basic? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So but it's a V Pokemon. Pokemon, so your opponent can just uh, custom catch it. Oh, it's a V Pokemon? Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, don't I really feel know. like you can play Mallow and Lana's and Hyper Potion. That sounds good. Oh, yeah, I forgot it, about Hyper Potion. It's a V Max, though, right? So it gives up three. Yeah, but your opponent's never going to knock it out. Yeah, yeah I forgot they played Hyper chill. Potion. Okay. Alright. Good card, good card. It has a lot of potential. I think if people yeah. actually try to make a good list, it'll be very good. It's Next question. Back. Question number 17. Baby Blowns. Is Zacian weak to fire? Uh, yes. Okay, then. 56, 56 fire. fire. I like that idea. Broken. Okay. <laughs> then you get Blazer for 60. <laughs> Let's go. Give this Blazer Zacian twice and knock it out. 
What's Green's lucky Lucy egg? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my B, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, Lucy, Lucy's broken. <laughs> Lucy egg. Okay, who said Lucy egg? So basically, I for did. the viewers, I'll explain because I know someone in this call doesn't know what it does. Oh, no, Charles. I think the viewers don't know what it does. <laughs> it's Charles. <laughs> Charles is the viewer in every one of these series. Please, because obviously I know what Lucy Egg does, but the viewers Bro, might not. Lucy Egg is an insane card. So basically, uh, when your Pokemon gets knocked out, you draw up to seven cards. Okay, thank you, Jackson. Okay, so uh, who said what and why? I said the green Lucy Egg. <laughs> why? <laughs> because... Before, you could just get stamped to, like, 1, 3, 2, it doesn't matter, and you would just lose off of having nothing, but now, like, you just don't brick. Okay, I changed my answer to Lucy Egg, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my answer, too. Uh, I put, think that you want to play Lucky Egg no matter what variant you play. Like, if no, you don't wanna... I don't think you want to play Lucky Egg. Oh, Lucy Egg. Yeah, what? I like that card. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like Lucky Egg, you like that Lucy Egg. Yeah. Why Why would also, nobody don't... play 56 Fire Energies? I don't know, I mean, it seems like the BDIF, but it just, it's gonna be wow. countered too much. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's gonna play Tex for it. Everyone's gonna play their Feeny. Just like Green's But I, I do want to first... point out that Green's deck, since they rely a lot more on supporters, if they go first, they could definitely be done. Yeah, especially, I'm pretty sure that plays like, what, four Big Blounds, one Blound GX, and like a Victini? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you probably have like four quick balls too, but mm -hmm. you don't really have much, much more. Right, next question. Ultras. Could Rayquaza Relaboom make an appearance? Charles, can Is you explain it... what Relaboom does for the viewers, please? Oh, it, um, <laughs> it, uh, attach... Doesn't it attach like two energies from your deck to one of your Pokemon? It's Vicavolt, but only Grass energies. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much I think, worse than I all of the other Tarot decks that come out of this set. Right, I think uh, it does have potential if people try to make it good. That has but... potential to win a Pokemad four-person <laughs> during round three. <laughs> <laughs> if all of the other decks are theme decks. But Charles no, but is going to no be cap. that bad. The deck just seems better. I'm just pulling it now. Rayquaza Relaboom is gonna win OCIC. Yeah, but you can play that like Greninja thingy to like get the item. You yeah, know? the Inteleon. It's broken. I destroyed Jacob in the pre release with <laughs> I'm okay, buddy. <laughs> you got that turn two Rillaboom. It was insane. Then you got like three of them set up. Like, <laughs> what was I supposed to do? It was so good. Alright, next question. Oh wait, the joke questions. Should Zach <laughs> oh my be kicked God. off the team? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I don't know why the square question is there. I don't. Make sense. <laughs> where's, the ang where's the angry react? Yeah, angry right. react. That's my angry right, react. Who got, who got it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> No, I threw! Ah! <laughs> now Jackson wins! <laughs> My answer is streak! <laughs> Alright, Jackson, explain your answer. Um, this is really toxic and so awful. <laughs> Jacob, at the beginning of this video, be like, Oh, this, vi this video is so bad! And <laughs> he thought it was gonna go nice. Right. And then question 19 happened. <laughs> ben, explain. Uh, I don't- there's nothing to explain. <laughs> good, good answer, good answer. If, you, yeah, if you've Jackson ever met uh, Charles, yeah, Charles in last place. I threw! Right, There's one one more question. You can reel it back. Final question. What platforms are you following the door? Oh, really I know this on? one. I know this one. Ooh. Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage. Well, I'm not following any of these. <laughs> Wait, what, Ben? You're in the Facebook group at least. Uh, where's all of the above? Facts. Where's other? <laughs> Snapchat. Yes, yeah, Snapchat. LinkedIn. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna make that right now. Yeah, somebody please make a Garbroder one of those LinkedIn, like, Facebook, Tinder things. 
All right. Yep. So these are all of our uh, platforms. Make sure you give us a follow Ooh. on these. This is actually going to wrap up our OCIC meta forecast video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for coming out, everybody. First, I would like to give you guys one chance to give any shout outs you'd like before we uh, head out. Charles, uh, any shout outs you'd like to give? Uh, Twitter.com, Charles C underscore TCG. And that's pretty much it. Have any team you want to shout out or anything? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love TotalCards.net. They, yeah. they really helped me fly out to all these events on their dollar. <laughs> it really helps a lot. Thanks, Total Cards. Alright, uh, Jackson. I just want to give a humble shout out to TotalCards.net. You've been trying to sell your jersey for the past two months. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but 15% um, of proceeds would have gone to Total Cards, so like. Uh, anyway, this is Jackson's turn to give shout outs, so, uh. That was my shout out. Oh, any, any other shout outs you want to give, like to your, to your Instagram or anything like that? I don't have any Twitter. Of that. Gotcha. Uh, ben? Uh, I'd like to shout out Gardevoir GX <laughs> for always making the infinite force. Looking like a snack. Doing taking knockouts on my Pokemon. Pokemon. Right. You want to shout out any like uh, social media handles or like your team? No, at Gardevoir <laughs> GX. And... Yo, go ahead. So, sorry for that cut, guys. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and that's gonna wrap up this video. I'll see you all later.